Hey guys, I've got many requests on how to optimize the speed at which your game is running through settings and decisions. So I'm going to be going over today how to most quickly get your game running through a large number of simulations. So first thing we're going to do is, of course, create our new game. We're not going to be in challenge mode for this one. Uh, for the sake of uh, slowing it down a bit, we're going to add the NPB and KBO. Uh, yeah, and we will just call this speed. So the reasons you may want to increase your game's simulation speed is you have a lot of leagues that is uh, slowing it down because you have to simulate a lot of games or there's a lot of player data that needs to be loaded or your computer may just not be as fast so you need to reduce the strain on your computer so you can get through your games. It's also possible that for whatever reason, your sim is just not running quickly anymore, or you've gotten so far out that you need to start increasing the speed. So there are, fortunately, a couple of things you can do to make your sim run faster, and a lot of them are not really too much of a sacrifice. So we'll be going through all of those today. Uh, or you could just want your sim to go faster, like you're simming a long time and you want your game to run more quickly, or you just want to optimize it and don't really care about the things we're shedding. So it doesn't really matter what we choose for our settings here. We're just going to go with these, and then we're going to hit Start Game button here. And of course, we are going to head into the League Settings for our first thing. So we're going to head to Global Settings here. And... Uh, Looking around, I do not see anything that's particular. Oh, wait, here we go. So, save box scores. If you want to make your sim run faster, you can decrease the number of box scores saved. Uh, generally speaking, you at least want to have uh, all major league box scores saved so that you have statistics for your players. But if you don't even really care about that, you can delete those as well. And your players will still have statistics. I'll just be game by game stuff. Recaps, uh, this will really speed up your game. So if you set this to none, I'll set this to all major leagues as well. If you set this to none, that'll increase the speed that your game goes. And I also appreciate that they added, by the way, uh, just a side note, these little descriptors for um, the settings. And when probability added graphs, you can disable those too. This honestly does not really matter. Uh, yeah, I don't think that is going to make a huge difference. Well, it will make a pretty significant difference in your speed, but it shouldn't make a huge difference. Like, I don't think anybody really cares about those. Game logs, once again, uh, if you want to speed up your game, you can set that to none. And replays, I would strongly recommend leaving saved replays off. You don't really need to... Uh, keep those unless your computer could really handle it and generally speaking I just wouldn't recommend it. Highlights again I would strongly recommend setting to none. I don't think anyone really goes back and watches their highlights and there's no harm to it. And 3D movement again I would set to none as well. Uh, keeping these to none will also speed up your league a little bit. And I will just point out here that setting your BNN top prospects list to dynamic will probably slow your league down a little bit. In here, you can disable baseball cards, away uniforms, which really only matters if you care exactly what your players look like playing away games. And since the 3D engine is still not that advanced, it won't really, you'll barely be able to tell. Uh, and make sure you have face generation off or set to none. And uh, yeah, that looks like really all we need to have here. Oh, yep. And delete those who never reach the majors. That'll really speed your game up. If you have a lot of player data compiled, deleting that will really speed it up. And as you go forwards as well. Nothing in here you can really do. I'm pretty sure that's just about it for your settings. Yep, and if you are interested in being interrupted less as you're playing through your game, there are a couple of settings you can fiddle with. So the exit autoplay will pull you out of your simulations as you're playing through games, and I would generally recommend only having it set to when a player is injured, when a player suffers a day-to-day -day injury, when a player is eligible to come off the IL, 
Uh, this one even I would say is a little bit questionable, but I leave this on myself, and I would definitely disable when you receive a trade proposal. I do not really like doing that. If you want to hand off some of your roles, which will increase the speed at which you can go through sims, since there's less to manage, you can do that here. Just choose the thing you want to hand off to your coach, and that will do it for you. I could have sworn we had a challenge mode enabled. Huh, guess I did not have it enabled. And that's about it, guys. Uh, there are some other things you could do to speed up your sims rate, but those are the big ones. If you have any questions about your sims specifically, where it's still slow even after you do this, you can reach out to me and I'll try to help you. I don't really know too much else that can work, but I can refer you to people who do, or I can actually try to work with you through some of the things. We can uh, troubleshoot and try to get your sims running faster. So I hope this was helpful to you guys. I'll see you on the next one.